craziest Poppy Playtime art videos to ever be uploaded to YouTube. But can you watch the end without being amazed? Let's find out. Starting with Dog Day being drawn on an iPad. Now, as you can see, just off the beginning of this video, this is about to be very, very well done. And let me tell you, this is very, very, very realistic. Like, I would not be able to draw this at all. But imagine if this came to life and there was something that you could have in your room. Well, this video does exactly that. We'll be showcasing different types of realistic art. And as you can see, this dog day seems very realistic, but not realistic enough because now we're bringing it to life. Now, this is what it's called a diorama. Now, dioramas are a showcase of, of art form that brings art to life. And as you can see, it's very carefully done. Everything done about this piece of art is insanely calculated and probably took an extreme amount of time to complete. But even the mouth and all the details are done with very fine precision. And of course, this would not be Dog Day if it did not have every aspect of Dog Day, making it a little bit spooky because Dog Day in this scene is very evil. Look how evil those teeth are. They look sharp. They look precise. They look like they are ready for action. And of course, Dog Day needs his eyeballs and of course, a nose. This is the beginning of Dog Day's face because right now, like it doesn't look like it's much, but it's about to be a whole lot of something because what we just saw in the beginning of this video is just an example of what this is going to be turned into. And that example we saw in the beginning will be transformed to a real life thing that this person has in their room. Now, let me know in the comment section if you would want something like this in your house, in your room, because if you're a big fan of Poppy Playtime, you're about to see this thing come to life. Now, everything about this screams realistic. Like the fact that they spend so much time doing all this means that they have to be a big fan of Poppy Playtime. You've got to be a big fan of Dog Day to have something this perfect. Look, like even the chest is so, look at that dude. That is crazy. We've got the zipper. Dude, that is nuts. That looks so good. We've got the whole zipper with the sun. Oh dude, that is absolutely well done. Look at that, even the belt buckle. Oh my gosh, that is crazy. Look at the detail behind this. And of course, we've got to have the rigid bottom because you guys know Dog Day, well, he was sort of ripped in half and it, it just looks so evil. Yep, the stitches. Okay, so far, so good. We are doing some really good stuff here, dudes. I actually like the fact that we are using realistic looking belt buckles. We've got the arms that look real. And of course, it's all set up to have the arms and hands attached to it oh so well done dudes wow look at that okay now this is just the beginning all right you thought oh we're done no we aren't even close to done because we are making what we saw in the beginning now to make that happen we've got to add color to all this so as you can see this is the uncolored version but now that all the teeth have been set we've got to go ahead and spray paint this bad boy and oh my gosh, the colors that are about to pop with this guy, I'm actually really stoked to see the final result. And of course, in this video, all the art just gets more insane. We've got some drawings of catnap that are gonna blow you away and more realistic items that you just will not be able to comprehend are brought to life. Now, if you're a big Poppy Playtime fan, like they, you know, when I went to Japan recently, they had Poppy Playtime like stands. Like I'll put a picture in this video. It looked insane, just like, random poppy playtime stuff that i was able to take a picture with in japan and you can see they're they're big fans out there in asia like dude the fact that this color all came look it's it's come to life it's all come to life now in order for this thing to really shine we've got to put it inside the diorama the thing you guys saw in the beginning that really made this thing feel like it was alive and as you can see we've got to go ahead and drill some holes into this bad boy and give it that dog day feel which you guys know so well from Poppy Playtime. We've got to make him hang from, you know, well, you know, you guys know what happened in the game, right? So you can see we've got him in this room and we're spray painting the room now 
to give it that real feel. The shadows, all these that you see, like it's not like a dirty looking room. You see, very well done. But of course, we've got to give Dog Day his legs. So these are his legs. Now, they did not look like legs and then they became legs very fast. We've got to spray paint that bad boy. And you guys know exactly where this goes. It goes inside this vent just like that. And then we've got to add the prototype hands. And well, they look pretty creepy. It, it really makes it come to life when you see the prototype hands. And oh man, you know, I'm not a big fan of, of, of this of this guy. Oh geez. Okay, we're gonna add this bad boy spray paint a little bit. And my gosh, dude, that looks so realistic. That is crazy. We even got some nice red ketchup. That is totally ketchup, guys right dog day was that's ketchup coming out of his body yep exactly we've got the chains that we're gonna add to the top just like so and of course make it look like it's hanging and dudes boom all the chains came out very nicely but then we've got to make them hang from the top just like so oh dude i would buy this i would for sure dude that looks so flipping cool and this is just the beginning which makes this even more insane because guess what we get to add these little walls to it and then the final piece the final thing to make this all shine the caution tape at the bottom the hazard logo and the final presentation from the from concept to reality baby bam that looks crazy i love this this is so well done what every step of this you guys saw from the very beginning all the way to the end and this is just the first of many art pieces shown in this video very well done the second one i think is a little crazy too drawing has never been my strong suit i've never been able to draw anything good i can barely even get stick figures right but Lou and SS do an amazing job at making art come to life. And somehow they do it a really good job. As you can see, this is Dog Day. Well, you know, he's trapped. He, it's the it's end of his days. But from what you just saw from the last one, you can see that they do a really good job at making this guy come to life and looks really realistic. And even adding color, they do a really good job at making sure every single color is added properly to the dog day and honestly i could never do this i'm not even good at coloring within the lines but as you can see they did an amazing job and even adding highlight and shadows which is crazy to me like i i don't even know how that's even possible but somehow they did it then on the other side we've got dog day himself we've got the normal regular happy old jolly dog day well, but on the other side, it's not the normal dog day, as you guys can see. Well, this is sort of when he starts to lose it. And well, the colors they've gone ahead and added came out really good. It's almost like the right side really didn't have like the fine lines done first. They just went straight into the coloring and it came out personally really good. Like really, really good. This is like almost like when he was like infected and it was like pretty much his end days. Now we've got a fan favorite. Let me know in the comment section, do you love or hate Miss Delight? Drop the video a like if you love Poppy Playtime. And if you're new around here, hit that subscribe because dudes, Miss Delight is a little crazy. Like she is at, yeah, you guys can see she's all types of crazy, but the art done for her is fantastic. They even add like her her weapon of choice and of course get every single detail correct Which makes it even more creepier because yeah, she's a little She's a little cuckoo and I think this is just like the dog day one where we have like the normal miss delight on the left Where she looks happy and normal and then yeah on the right. We've got the crazy one <laughs> Yeah, dude the, the talent here is actually absurd it it almost isn't fair because like I mentioned earlier, I can't even draw stick figures and people are making stuff like this. Oh my gosh. Interrupt the video. We've got the fan favorite cat nap himself. Now on the left, we've got the normal cat nap. And then of course on the right, we've got the spooky, scary cat nap that everyone is afraid of. And he looks absolutely crazy in his final form. And I will say the artist did a fantastic job at really capturing the horror that catnap is and oh yeah 
it's almost like it's way too spooky to be honest like the left one's so innocent and cute and the right one's like oh my god i'm about to get eliminated yeah no thanks I am not a fan of the catnap on the right because I know what comes with the catnap on the right. <laughs> but of course, if you enjoyed the video, be sure to hit that like button, hit that subscribe button, and I'll see you guys tomorrow with a brand new video. Bye, guys!